Hello everyone, this is Andrew Jones. It is, let's see, 11.52am on a Saturday morning on the 7th of July, 2012. Welcome to the... Eh, you know what, this is so impromptu, I'm not even sure whether this is worthy calling the very first podcast. Um, I guess, let's just make this a welcoming message for the Facebook Inner Flame page or uh, let's see https colon forward slash forward slash facebook.com forward slash <laughs> the inner flame and um, basically uh, a, a wonderful friend of mine um, led me to Isis Jade uh, led me to the Ascension Symptoms uh, Facebook page and uh, from there, I created this page, um, not to be in, comp- in competition in any way, shape or form. Um, really, this is just for quieter souls, for mellower spirits to gather and um, to communicate and express and to help and to guide and, and, and all that good and fun stuff. So um, that's basically why I'm here. And uh, I don't want to get into, you know, some of the negativities and some some of the whys and wherefores of why this page was created um, in in comparison to the other page. Uh, You can be as spiritual as you want. Um, I don't think that it's a necessity to have to put up with abrasive comments and remarks and even the kindest of uh, comments and remarks can be um, over time you know nothing's smoother than water nothing's more gentle than water but it too can erode canyons and break down walls um, and what have you uh, over time so uh, there was just a few abrasive situations let's say on the other side and um, we're all pushing in the same direction, I, I think, which is most important. And um, like I said in a, in a post earlier, we we were all on one side of the ship rowing in one direction. Um, and we were kind of going in circles because instead of focusing on issues at hand um, to help people, to guide people, to heal people... Um, just to give people those emotional hugs, you know, that uh, um, so many are looking for at this point in uh, world's history, I believe. Um, We were kind of arguing amongst ourselves and being a little bit selfish. Um, So this page is not different than the other page, but it's just a little bit like a library. No shouting, please. (laughs) Um, And it's not a dictatorship in here whatsoever. I'll listen to all of you. Um, I tried to actually make Heather... uh, Where's her full name? Heather Lapp. I tried to make Heather um, a admin as a test. I wanted to see, you know, if I made someone admin, what would happen? And um, she's been one of the most uh, well-balanced people that I could see that was speaking in many many of the situations and also michael um he's a he's a good guy all of you on here are wonderful people um heather mccray lap and uh michael i think he's a masseuse he's got a massage place i believe michael michael pa- michael pagel pagel not sure sorry michael if i'm not pronouncing your name right so um yeah i just i just figured it was time to have a place where we could talk we could share i'm still a member of the other site um i'm i'm still on board you know i've i've blocked one person so far not because i disbelieved their beliefs or didn't believe in their beliefs um it was i've i've blocked this person because it was like an annoying yapping little dog you know uh we we've recently i say recently 5 6 years ago now um we moved into a housing complex it's like a bunch of townhouses and it's beautiful and quiet it's um great you know for the most part great neighbors and what have you 
there's a house right in the middle of all of us. Say like the complex is like a C shape. In the middle of the C, <clears throat> there's a house. And it has this rowdy bunch of uh, people living there. And on the weekends and sometimes at many, a, many times during the week, there are children. And the children have no filter. They have no noise control. The parents have no control over these kids. And uh, all they do is shout and shout and scream and um they're only being kids but for those of us that just wanted to enjoy you know after a hard day's work a quiet evening or what have you the noise is just you know you're not always in control of uh, the noise you can filter out wayne dyer once said uh one of his little stories one of his many stories that he he enjoys to say and um this guy this man and woman were, were, were lying in bed and uh, the car alarm goes outside the essence of the story i'll break it down for you quick was that you know the guy said if i was magic i would make that car horn on the alarm uh disappear and the wife said if you were magic you wouldn't hear it i get the essence of that <laughs> but you know i think like many of us here i am still on my journey um, I still have to evolve and I don't need to choose to have that noise around me, especially when I'm purely here to try and help um, and grow myself. So with all of that being said, um, on the Facebook page, The Inner Flame, um, what I've done is I, I posed a... a a question and it brought about some fantastic replies so I, I really um, uh, urge you to to check out some of the responses some of the stories that I got back and the question was what was your journey what started you on your spiritual quest what was the turning point in your life where you turned from someone living without any consciousness whatsoever to turning into that spiritual being that you are now evolving into or have become and uh i took i said the very first step it wasn't the most amazing thing but i po i i told everyone about my first step and um in response just got some absolutely incredible stories about uh how how people took their first steps into spirituality just incredible so i urge you to check that out as uh, as soon as you can and add to it let us know your stories um i said it would make an amazing book uh maybe that would be something to work on so uh moving on i just thought you know it would be good to refocus uh, the the thoughts about the Inner Flame uh, Facebook page. Uh, I actually do have a website. Um, it is http uh, colon forward slash forward slash uh, inner f l a dot m e. So it's not a dot com, it's a dot m e. So the m e is the Inner Flame, but it's dot m e. Um, and the focus of that website is ultimately it's going to be a healing page. Um, it's not going to be for interaction. It's not going to be in any way financial based. It's just going to be where you join up. You would have an application on your iPhone or your smartphone or the window open on your browser and it would minimalize up to the top left or to the top right or bottom right, bottom left, etc. And uh, icon, a miniature icon of a person, place or thing would be shown. And it would be, there would have um, the intention. So the intention would be free from leukemia or free from disaster or earthquake free or um, a smooth divorce or a reconciliation 
um, etc. So people would send in their prayer requests. Um, some days we would, we would focus on different things. And this would really, literally, just be um, a little window that would open up and it would just remind you to think about and put your intentions on a specific top, topic, subject, person, thing, event to help sway it. And I know and believe from seeing all of the, even the scientific data that's been shown over and over again. I have uh, listened to many shows on Coast to Coast with, uh, there's, um, so I'll, I'll get all the information up together, but there's a lady on there and she's done uh, intention and meditation experiments where they focused intention on uh, areas, places, things, events, and um, they've created massive change. So I just thought it would be fantastic to have a website that does this properly. Um, and so that's the focus of the site. And again, that's inner flay, F L A I N E E uh, I N N E R F L A dot M E. And, uh, again, it's just to help heal, uh, help things recover, make things better, um, put people at peace, you know, all that good stuff. So it's only positive intentions and um, yeah, for the betterment of everyone really. And any of you that knows anything about this area, when you intend or when you meditate on someone else being better, being stress-free, being healed of a cancer or whatever it might be, the person doing the healing also receives a healing. Um, that's not the reason why I would suggest that you do it. It's just, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an effect of the cause. So, um, and those even watching other people that do that stuff also get a boost. Um, it's just phenomenal. Uh, science has shown that when you, when s someone does an act of good for someone, not only the person receiving do certain um, uh, hormones raise in their system, good hormones, the person doing the good deed uh, hormones also raise to a good level. The person witnessing um, also those hormones raise to a good level. And when enough people do it, and I would say probably more than three, um, many more people are affected within that vicinity um, and they don't even need to be aware of what's going on. So it's incredible the, uh, the blowback effect that can happen from doing acts of beauty, really. So um, I'd like to do that here. I'd, I'd like to say, you know what, if, if you have something that ails you, be it emotional, physical... And let me first start by saying this is in no way to step on doctor's toes, to step on um, hospital toes or a regime of um, therapy that you should be on, quote unquote. Um, you know, that's just a legal disclaimer. I, I won't tell you my beliefs on all that stuff, but, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's something that um, I feel we can have a positive effect on. So, you know, if you have something that ails you, let us know. Let's let's work on it together. Um, and as a group, uh, if we focus at specific times, um, if we know that every hour for two minutes or for 30 seconds every hour or for 15 seconds every hour if we can all focus you know if we can be that pulsating laser beam of energy of good of of good good vibes you know let's see if we can uh, tip the scales on an event place thing and um turn things for the better uh, I asked a question earlier on the inner flame on Facebook. I said, you know, what's your beliefs on what's going to happen on 2012? And you know what? I've heard so many 
and I too went through a phase of freaking out, absolutely freaking out. And at the end of the day, I come to a belief that if enough of us believe in a certain outcome, then that's the way it's going to be. I believe there may be some earth changes evident. You know, the poles are shifting. That's a fact. Uh, the DNA is being upgraded. That's a fact. Science can prove a lot of that stuff, although other scientists will also argue. But I think that the main thing above all else is that there's so many people that are, are truly gifted that are talking about 2013, 14, 15, up to 20. Um, you know, so I don't think that this is going to be the end all and be all of everything. I think this is a, a major point in, in Earth's history. And I think it's been that way for 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 many years because I felt, I've personally felt a shift for many, many years now. But um, I don't think it's a point in time that it's the end of the Earth by any means, shape or form. Um, now, for some people, it may, because on the past dates that some people have given for predictions to be the end of the world, for some people, it was because of conflicts, because of fighting, because of wars, because of uh, earthquakes and, and what have you. It literally was the end of the world for those people. Think about that. It's amazing. Now, just going back to the the inner flame page on Facebook, um, I asked a question, so with De December 21st fast approaching, what are your beliefs of what will happen? I'll tell you too what I think when I get out of this bed. Now, I got out of bed a little while ago, I still haven't written my my post, but Rhonda, um, Rhonda pretty much wrote down a, a, a great vision and uh, I'll tell you my response. She said, I am envisioning that awareness slash awakening will be open to all. And yes, there may be some challenges to rebuild a new world that serves the inhabitants, higher, higher interests. Change can always be unnerving, but nothing uh, that we are not strong enough to do. I only hold on to the positive outcome. I believe we will have it. Good food good air, no longer the rat race running nowhere for the corporation, community with nature and a sense of global galactic community. And um, yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, I, I, I wrote my belief is that what we all envision as a community can be made a reality. So I will join you on that vision, Rhonda. So um, yeah, I mean, how awesome would that be? So uh, why don't we all start by having a little bit more positive outcome on, on what's coming ahead. Um, I believe that uh, unknowingly we all have a huge say in the outcome. So thank you for taking almost 19 minutes out of your life to listen to this babbling. Um, I'm not sure how many of you have truly listened all the way to the end. But uh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, maybe this is what needs to happen once a week uh, on the Inner Flame uh, Facebook page. That's uh, www.facebook.com forward slash The Inner Flame. And um, yeah, come join us. Come join in. And again, you know, come with no agenda. Just uh, other than helping and sharing and evolving and growing, growing with as many others that we can. All right, take care. Thanks so much for listening and love to all.